Hi, my name is Teresa Chin, and this is your WeLearn guide to getting signed up to Twitter. So, first things first, we need to get to the Twitter website. So, if we do a quick Google search for Twitter, and you can see it already comes up. There it is. Um, and we just need to click on the first link that appears. This takes us to Twitter.com. And you can see here on the right hand side of the page, we have two options. One is sign up to Twitter and one is to log in. So today we're going to sign up to Twitter. So we hit that option. So Twitter then asks us for our name. And this might seem quite simple um, to start with, but actually you just need to make a decision here. So you need to decide whether you want to be yourself or whether you want to be semi-anonymous, or whether you want to be totally anonymous. And it's entirely up to you. So if you want to be totally anonymous, then you could just make up a pseudonym at this point. If you wanted to be kind of semi-anonymous, then, then perhaps you might want to just put your Christian name in at this point. If, you, if you're feeling quite brave and actually just want to be yourself, then you can put in your full name at this point. So for the purposes of this video, I'm actually just going to put in Teresa, we learn. So we've made the decision there just to be semi-anonymous. So just using um, my first name there and then popping we learn at the end. There's also a little bit of space. So if you wanted to put your qualification in, then, then you could do that as well. What we then need to do is we either need to put in our phone number by clicking into this box or, which is what I'm going to do, use email instead. So I'm going to put in my email. And then I'm going to hit the next button. So it's then asking me to customize my, my Twitter experience. And I really kind of don't want to go through this. And we're just going to do a very, very kind of quick sign up to Twitter. So all I'm going to do at this stage is hit next. It then asks us to kind of create our, our Twitter account. And it says it, it points you at all of the terms and conditions and the privacy policies and cookie use and so on. And you can click on those and read them if you want to. Um, otherwise, you can just hit on sign up. It, Twitter then asks you to pop in a verification code. And I can just hear on my email that actually my verification code has just come through. So if you just bear with me a second. So I'm just going to pop in my verification code. And then I'm going to hit next. Twitter then asks you to set up a password. Now, don't make this something too complicated. Make it something that you're going to remember. Um, and perhaps, you know, as, as you're getting used to Twitter, just, just, just make sure it's something familiar to you because you don't want to be locked out of your Twitter account because you can't remember your password. So make it something quite memorable but obviously something quite safe. And once you've popped in a password, all you need to do is hit next. Twitter then asks you to upload a profile picture. Now this is something that we're actually going to do a little bit later on in WeLearn. So we're not going to worry about this for the moment. So we're gonna hit skip for now. And the same thing applies to a bio. This is something that we're going to um, to figure out a little bit later along the line. So we're going to hit skip for now. Twitter then asks you what you're interested in. Um, and again, you know, we don't need to, to fill out this bit. Um, so all we're going to do is hit skip for now. Twitter then suggests that a few people that you might want to follow. Um, and you can either follow these or, or not. Um, it's entirely up to you. 
um, you can have a look down them and if you see anybody of interest then you know please do follow them but otherwise you can just hit next and there we are so Twitter now says welcome um, we're going to hit the get started button right there um, and um, and we're, we're here we're, we're, we're ready to tweet